Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Pyeongkang Yule's black tea line. Now, if you have been here for a while, you know I love Pyeongkang Yule. It's a Korean brand, one of the first Korean brands that I really got into and saw visible results. Now, I ordered a bunch of products from this line from Stylevana that came back in October, and then I got the eye patches from this line in one of my Korean beauty calendars. So I've been using them since that time, and of course, I have some thoughts and opinions, and I know you guys love Pyeongkang Yule too, so I I thought you might be interested in hearing what I have to say. Now, if you'll recall from my videos, tea extracts, black tea, green tea, they contain polyphenols, namely EGCG or epigallocatechin gallate. There is some evidence that this particular antioxidant when applied to the skin can help in minimizing inflammation. It can help with acne. It's also helpful for warding off against oxidative stress upon an exposure to environmental stressors like of course UV rays and infrared radiation, visible light, pollution, all that stuff that contributes to premature skin aging. Now of course as an ingredient the formulation dictates everything and it's very hard to say when it comes to a cosmetic ingredient if it's actually effective in the product but suffice it to say that's sort of the basis of all of these is the black tea ferment now let's just start out with the black tea deep infusion toner $34.90 if you guys have been here for a while you've come to appreciate sort of my evolution on perspectives towards toners initially I was like oh no toners are completely a waste of time I was referring to toners in the old school alcohol based sense where the the purpose of them was to kind of help deal with the pH issues surrounding traditional alkaline soaps and with modern cleansing technologies kind of negated the need for those. Then I came to find and discover Korean skincare and Japanese skincare and their hydrating toners, which are much different. And so I am team toner when it comes to those products. I do find they're very beneficial. So all that yammering aside, their black tea deep infusion toner. There is a lot going on in this bottle, I have to say that. And in contrast to other toners, this is not a fluid. This is not a liquid. It, it's got some substance to it. It's got a little bit of, you know, it's got viscosity. When you pump it onto your fingertip or onto the back of your hand, like I like to do, it definitely, you know, stays there. It doesn't run all over the place. It has sodium hyaluronate, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. It has figwort and mugwort extracts. Now these are anti-inflammatory and in traditional medicine may offer some benefit for soothing the skin. But I will point out that mugwort as a plant, the pollens, a lot of people are allergic to. Now whether or not that's gonna cause an issue with skincare products seems unlikely, but I thought I would point that out that mugwort pollen allergy is relatively common in certain parts of the world. So be aware of that if you have allergy to that. Now, uh, it has acetyl hexapeptide 8, aka argyrolin, <laughs> Botox in a bottle, as they like to claim. Now, argyrolin is a peptide which allegedly acts like Botox. I have a whole video talking about this, but in short, it kind of mimics the way Botox works, but it would have to actually get down to your skin to the neuromuscular junction in order to really do that. It doesn't seem as though that's likely. At any rate, it's a peptide, so you know what that means. It's a humectant. It will help improve the moisture content of the top layers of your skin. Adenosine is in this. Now some industry sponsored studies suggest that adenosine in skincare products may have a wrinkle smoothing effect, particularly for crow's feet, as well as the 11 lines probably by acting like, again, a humectant, plumping up hydration in the top layers of the skin and smoothing everything out. It has a variety of compounds from Centella, which are antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and can help with healing and barrier recovery. It also has Coptis Hyponica extract. This is a root extract very hydrating and rich in anti-inflammatory compounds as well. I, the Coptis Hyponica extract frequently pops up in a lot of Korean skincare that I end up loving and it's in there. Now to use this product, I use this uh, to my face after cleansing while the skin was still a bit damp. You only need one to two pumps to cover all surfaces of the face. You can comfortably use this to the eyelid skin as well. I went ahead though and went in with three pumps, making sure to take it down to my neck. This is a very hydrating serum and because of that, it can help with smoothing out fine lines. And I definitely have noticed an improvement in skin tone and texture with this, but um, to what extent it is strikingly different from any other hydrating product that I have ever used. I really don't know that it's that much different and it's not inexpensive. 
You know, um, a product from uh, Isntree that I really like, it's a tea uh, toner. It was featured in my best Korean skincare of 2022 video. And that to me is offering the benefits of the tea. I see an improvement in skin hydration and it is less expensive. However, this product does have a bit more going for it in the formula overall. I will point out that it has niacinamide, which I love, it's anti-inflammatory, helpful for redness, hyperpigmentation, anti-aging, uh, and the moisture barrier, dry skin. But some of you are sensitive to niacinamide, so this would not be, likely be a good option for you. Overall, I really, really like this, but for me personally, I don't think that I would pay $34.90 again for this. It was great but it didn't radically change my skincare game. But overall, I did really like it. I think this is a great option for somebody who loves Korean skincare, wants to try it out, and is looking for something that's super hydrating and that has antioxidants, as well as ingredients to help with the skin barrier and anti-inflammatory compounds. I think you would enjoy this. Moving on though, to the Black Tea Boosting Serum. The Black Tea Boosting Serum, smaller bottle, $39.30. The ingredients are not much different. Honestly, they're really not. Funny enough, I thought perhaps as I was using these that maybe the black tea in the serum was more concentrated because the serum is a brownish color. But when I looked carefully at the ingredient list, I noticed that the serum has caramel as a coloring agent, I assume, whereas the toner does not. So probably has nothing to do with the tea in either product. Um, anyway, yeah, they're very similar. They're very similar. I, you know, if you blindfold yourself, you're not gonna be able to notice a difference in texture. They have very similar ingredients. All that to say, how did I end up using the serum? I just layered it on right over top the toner because they don't really tell you how to incorporate these together or if you should or, yeah, they don't really tell you like if the toner is ideal for you know certain situations versus the serum. They don't really give you much guidance on that. So I just went ahead and layered them together. I have tried using each one by itself. I have to tell you, layered together, you do get an extra pack of hydration. I don't know if I'm just imagining that, but I really did find that layered together, these two were quite nice. As a side note, both of these products, either used alone or layered one on top of the other, if you choose to use them in the morning as part of your morning skincare routine, they absorb fairly quickly, but the skin feels afterwards moisturized, not sticky or tacky, not tight. And then sunscreen layers on over these very nicely. There's no pilling. Given that the ingredients are so similar, I would just go with the toner because I, I feel as though the toner, and I have used these, I mean, they're almost empty at this point. I've been using them consistently long enough now to have a good sense of how they perform. And I would say that both of them, your skin is left feeling equally hydrated. When they're layered together, you do get a bit of an extra bang for your buck, but I don't know that that justifies you ending up spending over $70 on goop. Moving on to the black tea enriched cream, $49.90 for 60 ml. It has a tea, it has niacinamide, it has a variety of silicone based type ingredients, trimethicone, cymethicone. I have to tell you, I love this moisturizer. I just like the consistency of it. It's super rich, however. So if you're somebody who has um, rosacea and you find that really heavy moisturizers make you feel hot, overheated, make you flush easily, I don't think that this is gonna be a good option for you. If you're one of those people who really likes a rich eye cream and your facial moisturizer has not been really cutting it as an eye cream, this is one of those products that really shines as both a face and an eye cream. If you have been here for any number of years, you know I love this brand a lot. And so I pretty much like every product from them that I have ever tried, including many of their other moisturizers. And I'm pointing that out because some of their other moisturizers, in my opinion, are equally as good. I mean, do more or less the same thing, but are less expensive. Por ejemplo, the Intensive Repair Cream, $19.99. This has shea butter, ceramides, beta-glucan, and copper tripeptide. Copper tripeptides may have an anti-aging effect or they may just be there as humectants. The Intensive Repair Cream, in contrast to the Black Tea and Rich Cream, is a little bit more lightweight but it does give that nice long-lasting hydration. The 
The Nutrition Cream by Pyeong Kang Yul is another great one. A more expensive than the Intensive Repair Cream, it's $28, but honestly, the consistency on the Nutrition Cream is a lot like the consistency of the Black Tea Enriched Cream. There's no black tea in it, however, so if you're going for that ingredient, you know, then stick with the Black Tea Enriched Cream, I suppose. But the Nutrition Cream is of that same consistency, but it does not have niacinamide, um, no, nor does the intensive repair cream. So for those of you who are sensitive to niacinamide, you may you know, instead consider these. Um, the nutrition cream has shea butter, astragalus, membranaceous, root extract, which I think is really what delivers a real pack of punch of hydration in the nutrition cream. Um, it also has sodium hyaluronate and uh, macadamia seed oil. So those are some alternatives from Pyeong Kang Yul. Moving on to the black tea time reverse eye cream. Now, this is not my first time with this eye cream. This is actually my second tube of the eye cream. I repurchased it knowing I was going to be doing this video and I wanted to have it to show you all. And, you know, re I, I used it again to refresh my memory in terms of the consistency. Anyway, it's $25.99. Now, the consistency on this is very similar to the consistency of the black tea enriched cream. It has ceramide. In contrast to the enriched cream, it has copper tripeptide one. It also has acetyl hexapeptide 8. That is that peptide that claims to be uh, Botox or girulene. It has adenosine, yeast beta-glucan, which is very much uh, humectant rich, shea butter, and macadamia seed oil. Now, a few years ago, I tried out this eye cream and I was like, for the people who like eye creams or who feel like they benefit from an eye cream, this is a good one. Not something I'm gonna use in my routine. I do just fine with my facial moisturizer. I don't need this. It is good. If, if you're one of those people who likes eye cream. The facial moisturizer in this line is very similar in consistency uh, to the, the eye cream in this line. Although the eye cream does have some more unique ingredients that may address fine lines a little bit better than just the face cream alone, provided they work. Um, all that to say, if you like eye creams, this is a good one. It comes in a cute tin, um, which, you know, whatever. Um, you can repurpose that for, for other things. Now, what I got in my Korean um, beauty advent calendar if you'll recall, is the Black Tea Time Reverse Eye Patches. I ended up really liking these. Um, no surprise, I love hydrogel eye patches. There's no right or wrong way to put these on under your eye. Anytime I put them on, it doesn't matter what orientation I put them on, someone's gonna comment that I'm putting them on wrong. Um, and then I'll flip them the other way and somebody will be like, they're on wrong. It's like, <laughs> There is no right or wrong way to put these on. It's a matter of personal preference. If you want the, if you want the fatter part up under the more medial aspect of your eye, by all means. If you want to do it the other way to get the fatter part closer to the crow's feet, by all means. It's, it's not, this is not a test. Um, the eye, eye, eye patch police will not come and arrest you. Um, these I, I actually ended up really liking because uh, they have, I, I don't know, I did, it's not because of any ingredient. They just were a pleasure to use, hydrating, and I did find that once I took them off, my eyes did look a lot brighter. I love putting these types of products in the refrigerator. Applying them chilled gives you a nice cooling effect. It's very relaxing. Uh, all that to say, what's in the eye patches? Hydrating ingredients, Chondrus crispus extract, um, moisturizing ingredients like ceramide, um, brightening ingredients like dipotassium glycerizate, which comes from licorice root, that's anti-inflammatory, good for dark spots. A word of warning though, they went and put tea tree extract in this. Now tea tree oil, you gotta be careful with that one. It's a, it's a lot of different ingredients in tea tree oil and they can degrade and be very irritating to the skin. This is a, more of a problem if you just, I don't know, go to Whole Foods and pick up a bottle of tea tree or essential oil and try and do your own DIY skincare with it. The problem is the product, the, the, the oil itself, with exposure to light and air, it oxidizes and the compounds within it can be incredibly irritating to the skin and sensitizing. It's a less of an issue in, in products where tea tree extract has been formulated in. It's lower risk. And then last but not least, I don't do sheet masks. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. 
10 sheet masks for $29.90. I'm not really into the sheet masks. I'll do them from time to time. They're fun. I've tried these and you do get a, a nice brightening effect, improvement in skin tone, and the ingredients in them are good. You get niacinamide and dipotassium glycerizate as well as acetyl hexapeptide 8, the, the argireline, and you get centella as well as a variety of other anti-inflammatory compounds. So the ingredients in the masks are good. I'm just not a sheet mask person. Uh, I mean, for me personally, I, I would just go with either the serum or the toner. So those are the products. Personally, I used all of them. I thought they were all really good. I genuinely do see improvement in the way my skin looks. Like when I'm using any Pyongyang Yule products consistently, I, I, I'm always like, I don't know what it is. They really do have, they really end up being powerful, I believe, in increasing stratum corneum hydration and just smoothing everything out because I visibly see a striking difference in my skin with any Pion Kong Yule product I have ever tried. Um, and, you know, I'll stop using them for a couple of days and I see, you know, that start to wane. And then once I start using them again, it returns. Um, but I do believe that the products overall are really good and, and really effective. Now this particular line from them on the expensive side, I mean, I guess over the years, you know, thinking back on all of their products that I have tried, they are a bit more expensive. You know me, I'm not one to come on here and be like, drop everything and go buy these right now. I think you could choose either the serum or the toner either one you don't need both um the cream is really nice the facial cream it's very nice it's very rich it's a very enjoyable experience the eye patches are wonderful you know are you somebody who does eye patches if not then don't feel like you need to get, have these in your life the sheet masks are not something i do on a routine basis but if you like sheet masks, these are very good. They have great ingredients. The eye cream is a pass for me for reasons I have explained ad nauseum, but it is unique from the facial cream in that it does have ingredients that should, you know, in theory, be addressing uh, fine lines and have an anti-aging effect around the eyes. And overall, it's a decent value. It's just not a type of product that I routinely use or seek out. Uh, I did obviously for the purposes of this video so you guys could see what it looks like, but it's not not something I would repurchase. In contrast to my other uh, favorite tea toner uh, from Isntree, I almost prefer this a bit in the sense that it has a bit more texture to it. It's not a straight liquid, so it's easier to apply, but both of them are good uh, as far as a tea-based toner. I guess I would say the Pyong Kung Yule one has a lot more ingredients in it, which can be a blessing and a curse. Blessing in that you may be getting some additional benefits from these ingredients, curse in that the more ingredients, the more likely, you know, perhaps for irritation or allergies developing, um, and it's, you know, becomes difficult to know what exactly is the problem. But overall, I really, you know, Pyong Kung Yule does not disappoint. And I will give a thumbs up too for the packaging. It's nice looking. It's skincare that would make for a nice gift. If you have somebody in your life who really likes Korean skincare, then these would make great gifts. They're, they're very, they're very presentable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have tried this brand. I have been happy with pretty much every skincare product I have tried from them, and I have tried many over the years. Anyway, y'all, wanted to share these with you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. So I'm going to link my video on Korean skincare we need to discuss, where I review some other fantastic Korean skincare products. So check that one out next if you're into all things Korean skincare. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.